Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1311. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about my new favorite secure crypto wallet. Now, Of course, I wrote a book about cryptocurrency and investing in cryptocurrencies. And so, of course, you know I'm an investor in cryptos and you even know some of my favorite cryptocurrencies. But today, I'm not gonna talk about crypto except for how to safely and securely store your crypto. Now, in my crypto journey, we've had several different wallets that we've tried. The first being the Ledger Nano. The Ledger Nano was said to be extremely secure, but then Ledger themselves admitted that there was a back door installed and that if there was any problem with law enforcement, that they would cooperate and send your crypto out. Something like that. That may not be exactly correct, but it's close. It sent waves of concern through the crypto industry, understandably and people were very upset to learn about this back door. If there's a back door in your crypto wallet, doesn't that mean it could be vulnerable to other people coming in through the back door? But the thing about Ledger was it was not the easiest technology to use. And so for my clients in the VIP experience, I wanted something more simple, something not so complicated, and also very secure with no back door. And that led us to the Descent Wallet. The Descent Wallet is biometric, so it uses your fingerprint to identify you. And that was much easier to use than the Ledger Nano. But the problem we had with the Descent Wallet is that it requires updates constantly. And some people who are not as tech savvy have a very difficult time updating their Descent Wallet. So I went in search of finding another wallet, a wallet that would be ideal with no back door, easy to use, and unquestionably secure and unhackable. And I found it. And it's called the Tangem Wallet. We've been using the Tangem Wallet in the VIP experience for several months, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Of the three wallets, it is the most simple to use. Literally tapping it to your phone is all it takes to get it set up. The Tangem Wallet basically comes with three metal cards the size of credit cards. They're duplicate cards, so it's like having three different room keys to your hotel room. In case you lose one, you have two others as a backup. So not only is it simple to activate with, again, just tapping the card to your phone, it takes about three minutes and the embedded chip within the card generates a random private key, ensuring that the wallet cannot be compromised. Tangem has been out since 2018, and out of over a million wallets being sold, zero have been hacked. Not only that, but it can prove that it doesn't have a back door because it's been independently audited twice. First in 2018 by the Swiss company Kudoski Security, and another audit in 2023 by RiskCure, which is an international security lab. Both audits confirmed that the firmware has no back doors or vulnerabilities. It's not updatable and contains no hidden algorithms. And Tangem guarantees that when used correctly, your Tangem wallet will remain safe for at least 25 years. So the cards that come with the Tangem wallet have an EAL6 Plus certified chip made by Samsung. And they tell us it's as secure as a biometric passport. The cards do not depend on Tangem servers or infrastructure. It's fully autonomous. 
neither Tangem servers nor services are participating or have access to your crypto activities. There's only your card, your phone, and the blockchain. So how does it actually work? Well, the chip in the card generates a random private key, which never gets exposed. Second, the cards establish a secure connection with each other and transfer your encrypted private keys. And third, the keys are stored on three cards with no other copies to be found across space and time. Now you can set up your Tangem wallet to have seed words, but it is the first wallet that eliminated seed words. But I think it's not a bad idea to create the optional seed word recovery system, just so you have another means of recovery. We can never be too careful with our crypto. Now the other part of this is there is an app in the App Store that you download onto your phone and use biometrically to access that wallet. It stores over a thousand different types of crypto and allows you to do certain transactions right within the wallet. So you can swap, buy, or sell crypto right within your wallet. And coming soon, you'll be able to earn within the Tangem wallet. And even if Apple and Google take it out of their app store, the app will always be available on GitHub. So they've pretty much thought of everything. So what would happen if your Tangem wallet card, God forbid, was stolen? Can a third party gain access to the wallet? No, an access code protects the wallet against unauthorized access by third parties and brute force attacks. How about if you lose your phone or if it's broken, will you lose access to your wallet or your funds? No, you're not going to lose access to the funds in your Tangem wallet. You can use your card to access your wallet via any other mobile device. You just have to download the Tangem app on another phone and scan your Tangem cards. Remember, your phone doesn't store sensitive information. It's just a screen that provides the wallet's user interface for easy access. You can use the Tangem wallet on two or more phones. The number doesn't matter because your wallet's private keys are stored in the card's chip. So the three card set for Tangem is what I recommend. You can buy a two card set or a three card set. It's just an extra key that you're buying so that you can put them in three secure places. For three cards of a Tangem wallet, it's $69.90. So extremely affordable, not as expensive as some other devices. And if you use the link in my show notes, you'll save 10% when buying your Tangem wallet. So again, one to three minutes to set up the most secure wallet out there, the easiest to use, and never been hacked. And audits prove there is no back door. This is the wallet we always wanted and thought we owned with some other wallets that we bought. This is easier to use than anything else, more secure than anything else. Now I still like diversifying my crypto among multiple wallets, so I'll probably continue to use my other wallets. But over time, most of my funds are going to migrate onto my Tangent wallet because it is the easiest to use, the quickest to use, and the most secure. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.